Hello, dear friends. This is Poet WP here. This is kind of an impromptu video. Uh, I'm just doing this off the cuff. I didn't think about it. I thought about it a little. I didn't write anything too much. I just want to say, Banksy, you are the man. You, oh, my God. I love it. I've been watching the video over and over. Watching their faces is, is that painting shreds. This painting. This painting. This is a Banksy graffiti painting. He's a graffiti artist, and, um, and he does other art, too, of course. But he started out as a graffiti artist, just doing graffiti on walls and stuff, right? Well, they sold this painting here. This is an art card print of it. They sold this painting of his for over a million dollars. In the news, I'm sure a lot of you saw it. And then when the hammer slammed down, <laughs> auction, you know, slammed the hammer down, the... Uh, the painting shredded itself. It, it shredded and it went down like it was in the frame and then it shredded itself and like half halfway shredded itself down to down the frame. The frame had a shredder built in and when it was sold, it unactivated and shredded the picture. <laughs> that was so fucking punk rock, Banksy. You're the man, man. Dude, you're the man. You rule. I love it. I fucking love it. It was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And what's even more amazing about it... Here, I'll do a pullout. Uh, there's some more of the Banksy's that I have in this picture frame. And I'll talk about them in a minute and why I like them. But it was amazing. It was so amazing. It was such a spiritual statement. It was so fucking punk rock, man. It was awesome. It was such a spiritual statement. A, a cultural statement, a statement about the preposterousness, the, the, how preposterous it is in this art world, and the nature of capitalism and assigned value. Like, you could buy this as a poster, right? They have this as a fucking poster. It's in college dorm rooms all over America and all over the world, this poster. five ninety nine or eight ninety nine or whatever the fuck a poster costs now, right? It's on all kinds of dorm room walls, this poster. And the original one, right? An original one, right? That Banksy did. Sold for a million and a half. You pay eight dollars, you can pay a million and a half. Whoever the guy who paid the million and a half for this image, or person, woman, whatever, it's shredded now. <laughs> brilliant, brother, brilliant. I love it. Love it. Love it. I can't, I like, I'm watching the video over and over. I love watching the faces of the people react. It was so amazing. That's some Fight Club level shit right there, man. That was great. Love it. And now what's even more interesting about it is they began to realize, wait a minute, this makes the painting more valuable. <laughs> because this was another act of the artist. The artist had a complete work, right? This was a completed work. But then the artist decided... This work is not complete. I'm going to take this work back up even though it is has been completed and is sold. I it is my work and I am not done with it yet. So now I will the, this piece will enter into phase 2 and it will enter into a new level of completion. And that's what that was when it shredded itself down the picture frame. And now because that is an act of art, that was an act of art by that because it had significant meaning when it, the hammer dropped on that and went over a million and and it shredded that was an act of art and that made this piece more valuable now what's interesting to me and you know Banksy sat around and thought about this for you know he thought about this he probably consulted with his boys and his friends you know and it was just amazing it was really amazing now, what I'm wondering is, I hope they don't try to modify it. They should just leave it exactly like it is. Maybe put it in a glass case with the shit hanging down and everything, with the shreds hanging down. Because if they modify it at all, if you ask me, in my opinion, I'm not an art dealer, but if you, if you ask me, if they modify it at all, if they do anything to it, if they try to reassemble the shredded painting or take it out from where it's hanging down or if they alter anything out of the state of which it rested once it finished its 
completion. If they alter it in any way, in my opinion, they destroy the artwork. They destroy the whole point. So they better not try to reconstruct it and put it back on the goddamn frame. Because that's the, you, 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 if you do that, you'll destroy the, the art, in my opinion. They have to leave it exactly like it was when it got activated and shredded. Just leave it like that, put it in a glass case, and then hang it as a piece. Like that. Because that's what it is now. Now it's completed. I mean, that's my opinion. Anyway, I just thought it was so awesome. So awesome. Banksy, you are a fucking man, brother. You are a legend. Anyway, this is another cool Banksy piece. So you got the police sniper, right? And you got the kid sitting with a, a paper bag that he blew up air, air in. And he's going to pop the paper bag and startle the cop that's holding the gun. <laughs> you got, and this is one of my favorites. Banksy's stuff is so powerful, yet striking. And there's not enough real words for it. It's Banksy is an underestimated artist. It's very significant for our time. Uh, and then you got this, the vulture with the gasoline, like vulture, oil, greed, the greed, Middle Eastern wars, you know. And of course the heart balloon. And this isn't a really funny one to me. This is like caveman, Neanderthal man or whatever, or the like. And this is shopping carts, right? See, Neanderthal man had to hunt for food. Hunt with the spears and clubs, you know? Catch game. Modern man, we don't hunt for food anymore. We get a shopping cart. And we go and we get our groceries instead of going and catching game and hunting for game. So this is like the modern meets the ancient. So you get these... And it also makes you think, like, what if Neanderthal man found shopping carts? Like, what the fuck would they think about it, right? They'd, they'd probably try to throw a spear at it. Like, what in the hell is this, right? This is not of the natural world, right? But that's the contrast. It's like, imagine if a Neanderthal man came across shopping carts. What would they think, right? And also, modern man doesn't hunt for food. They get their shopping cart and go to the grocery store. Whereas my, oh, ancient man hunted for food. So that's deep to me, you know? Maybe it's simple to you. I don't know. Art is, uh, you know, pretty subjective. Uh, but, um, yeah, I was super psyched, super stoked when I saw that. And you know, it reminded me, sorry for the shaky camera. It reminded me of the film Basquiat, about the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat, which is a... Excellent film. I probably will do a review of that film. That's one of my favorite all-time films. And I, I'm a fan of Basquiat as well. His work is intricate and powerful. Um, and they have such an all-star cast in that film. Maybe I'll do a review on it. But anyway, it reminded me of the opening scene of Basquiat where the critic René is sitting in the park and he's writing, I assume it was a column, and you see Basquiat in the background getting out of a cardboard box. He was sleeping off in the sh in the bushes, right, when he was homeless in New York in 79 or whatever. And anyway, the critic René is writing, it reminded me of what the opening dialogue, voiceover narr narration was in the opening part of that film. When I saw Banksy's piece get shredded in this final act of art, and my vaping shit, nicotine, it's a beast, don't ever start. Anyway, um, so, yeah, it reminded me of that, that opening scene of Basquiat where Rene is like, he says, everybody wants to get on the Van Gogh boat. And then I'm paraphrasing. I'm not reciting the whole dialogue. He says, everybody wants to get on the Van Gogh boat. I mean, how many pictures did he sell when he was alive? One, he couldn't give them away. No one wants to be part of a generation that ignores another Van Gogh. When you see a new picture, you don't want to miss the boat. You might be staring at Van Gogh's ear. <laughs> That's what I thought of. When I, it was just such an act of defiant brilliance. I was, it was, I was so happy. To, it, was, it really made my day. And uh, I just want to say, salute to you, Banksy. You're the man. Still rules, man. You still rule. Oh, and you guys should watch the movie Exit Through the Gift Shop. <laughs> it's funny, man. The contrast in that movie between Banksy and then, like, the 
the other dude that the movie's about. Really, the movie should be, is about Banksy, but it's there's there is a, a, so much irony in that film. Exit through the gift shop, great film. Uh, it's about Banksy and some dude he found that was trying to discover him. Anyway, I don't want to describe the movie, but Banksy's in the film and he does interviews and stuff, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, mad props to Banksy, man. You rule, bro. you rule, brother. You rule. You're the you're the master, master artist, making them think like no one else. All right, uh, enough 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 praise of heroes. Okay, thanks for joining me. Check you later.